Welcome back everyone. Today we are talking about whether gum line cavities can be restored or not. So essentially, can we put a filling into a tooth if it has a cavity at the gum line? Let's find out. So here you can see that someone's actually attempted to fill this area before, but underneath is an open margin, an area where bacteria can sneak in and cause problems. So we are gonna go ahead and try and fix this problem. The first step is to remove all of the old white filling material that the last dentist had put in. It takes a while to get it out, but once we do have it out, we expose what's underneath. Here, you'll see as it comes out, there's a soft kind of cottage cheese appearance to decayed tooth structure as we remove it. It's critical that we get it all out so that no bacteria remain and can cause further problems. Next, we need to isolate the area where we're going to be restoring the tooth. I use what's called a greater curve Toppelmeyer band in order to get this isolated. Here you can see you, the bottom of our margin um, well isolated and well defined at the bottom of the little band. Keeps the gums out of the way and makes sure we have no moisture coming in. We go through our bonding protocol, which you can check out in this video up in the top right corner. And uh, once that's done, we can start putting the filling in. Now I'm going to use a flowable filling material to seal the bottom part so that I don't have to be holding the band the whole time. Otherwise this band tends to kind of flop right off. So we're gonna shine our light on that and that will make it hard, which then secures our band in place. I use a normal, a normal paste like composite for the rest of the filling. We do put it in in smaller increments to make sure that we don't get too much shrinkage as we cure each increment. So I put that one in and then we'll put one more in and the final increment I spend a little bit more time shaping it as you'll soon see. So here I'm just making sure that it's well adapted to the margins of the tooth. Then we cure that and we have a rough shape to our filling now. So the next step is to go ahead and make sure we clean that all up. Now a lot of people are concerned about you know touching the gums in these areas. I do not worry about that at all. I go ahead and actually get right underneath the gum line and um, essentially make sure that that filling material is perfectly flush with the tooth. It's really critical because the gums are gonna grow back after this procedure, even if we nicked them a little bit, but a bad filling will not go away on its own. So it's better to you know, traumatize the gum tissue a little bit and make sure the filling is super smooth. And then you know, a week from now, that tooth will have beautiful tissue response. Well, now you know that we can fix gum line cavities with filling material. It's actually quite simple to do. Um, now, I have seen a lot of these restorations done poorly in the past, and I think the number one issue is the fact that dentists don't always spend the time to isolate the area from moisture, because if any moisture gets underneath the filling, then we're in real trouble. So that's why I do spend the time to get that, that band around the tooth, and then we're in good shape from there. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I do try to answer as many as I can. I'm getting more questions now than I did before, so I may not get to all of them, but I will do my best to get back to yours. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.